The next cold front to move through our state is a strong one, and it brings with it a significant risk of severe weather. Jeff Hoffman here from the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network Storm Center. We'll be updating our public media outlets hour by hour as the severe weather enters the panhandle Tuesday night and moves to the rest of the peninsula on Wednesday. Tuesday afternoon, a warm front lifts north, so the air be beneath this warm front becomes warm and humid and unstable. And when the cold front arrives, of course, is when the severe weather will be triggered. A couple of cells well ahead of the front will be worth watching Tuesday evening evening, but the main action will be developing there from Jackson and New Orleans along I-55 and then spreading east. This is Tuesday night at midnight into Wednesday morning. There's a, a risk of severe weather in the overnight hours. That makes it particularly dangerous. It moves into North Florida Wednesday morning to midday and then parts of Central and South Florida uh, Wednesday afternoon. Now all the energy and dynamics with the system will be moving north. The instability kind of staying confined a little further to the south. So there are some question marks for the rest of the peninsula on Wednesday, but the risk is greatest in the panhandle Tuesday night. And here it is on the damage risk map. Look at this. We're talking numerous to maybe widespread severe weather near and just north of Mobile Tuesday afternoon. And this spreads into parts of the panhandle uh, overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. There it is at midnight. Uh, near and just west of Tallahassee and then approaching Gainesville and Ocala and Jacksonville in the morning hours Wednesday and then down toward the I-4 corridor Wednesday afternoon. Once again, severe risk highest in the panhandle. Make sure you have a way to stay weather aware. Uh, download our new mobile app with customized push notifications for up to eight different locations. Florida storms. Follow us or like us on Facebook and Twitter. Just look for Florida storms. Pretty easy there. Not a lot of rainfall with this system because it's moving so quickly, but a quarter to a half inch in most areas. Some locally heavier amounts there in the panhandle. And of course, colder air will follow it out ahead of it. Look at this warm, humid, unstable air mass. 83 Tuesday in Orlando, 82 in Tampa. Still pretty warm and humid. Wednesday as the front is moving through, but notice Pensacola cools down to a high of only 59 and then by Wednesday night and Thursday morning, cold air takes over by Friday morning and Saturday morning. Much of North Florida could have a frost or a light freeze. We'll be working on those numbers throughout the week. Stay tuned.